Hires of Reddit, what did the candidate wear to an interview that cost them the job? His beep headphones over his neck. I don't know if it counts though because there were many other reasons also including 3 f-bombs to start the interview. I once went to an interview in which my skirt split up the back as my interviewer followed me up the stairs. I was told I was too confident for the job. Unusual one. Imo. My wife interviews a lot of people for therapy roles or varying types. There's usually a group interview after the initial ones and all the co-workers said they wouldn't hire a woman because of her shoes. The candidate had Louis Vuitton shoes on. The reasons they gave were, she probably wants too much money, not she like even needs the job, and perceived her as a person they wouldn't get along with. She ultimately didn't get past the first interview. I asked my wife about it and she said she didn't even notice what she had on her feet. She didn't hire her because her experience was with adults and not children. Once had a guy come to interview at the software company I worked at wearing a female body inspector shirt. That ended quickly. I was working for a concessionaire for a MLB team where we do a mass hiring event before the season starts. This man came into the waiting room in street clothes, asked to go to the restroom, and changed into a Halloween style pimp suit. This included a hat and a cane. A t-shirt of Mickey mounting Minnie from behind. It was disturbing on so many levels, not the least of which was how well done it was. This was for a minimum wage position, but still. I used to be the physician led for my group's NP program. As such, I was involved with the interview's hirings. Our business manager refused to consider a qualified candidate because she wore baby doll socks with her outfit. I never understood that one. I sometimes do campus recruiting and interviews, but don't make final hiring decisions. With that said, at a campus event, my partner and I were going through a line of over 300 people. We scan their resume, ask a bunch of questions to get them in our system, and add some quick comment suggestions. Had a person wait in line for several hours. When she got to me, she had no resume, and still had on pajamas. Now I never try to judge a book by its cover. But I have to get through a person in under 4 minutes on average, and have about 20 questions to ask to put info for HR into our system. I was ready to power through this as fast as possible, to get to a candidate that was an actual potential hire. However, this girl was graduating with a 4.0 BS computer science, at the age of 17. She spoke 7 languages fluently, I could not verify this. She said she had started working on PhD research when she was 14, but didn't want to continue with school. I had to convince her to go make a resume, as I could not complete her in our system without it, and wanted to make sure she was visible to the right people. Honestly I was surprised she even wanted to work at our Fortune 500 company. It's a great start for most people, but I would think prodigies would have other options than a 70k salary in Texas. She did go make a resume and waited in line again. I made sure HR found her profile, but I have no idea if she signed on with us. I'm surprised a prodigy finishing CS at 17 and already working a PhD thesis wasn't interested in going to academia. Not an interview, but I worked for a video webcast company and we hired freelancers to operate our cameras sometimes when we were short staffed. The rule is that you wear all black so you blend into the background. Freelancer showed up in a tie-dye sweatshirt and cargo shorts. He ended up operating a camera right next to the head of the bioethics committee that reports directly to the president. Not only did we not ever hire him again, the client asked us to never bring him back. Interviewing for our food service department within a well-known hospital in St. Louis, young girl, lower 20s, comes in wearing bright yellow Uggs and a Davy Crockett hat. As if that wasn't enough she also had one of those tails. Not the butt plug type just attached to her pants. Full club attire, clothes and makeup. I work in an office building for a healthcare company. Chick had a super short, sparkly silver dress and 6 inch heels. I don't know how she sat down without the dress ripping. Maybe she was a stripper who just finished her college degree and couldn't quit her old job until she got a new one and you scheduled you interview at such a time as she did not have time to change out of her work attire. <laughs> Obligatory not a hire but an interviewee. I went for an interview at an insurance firm when I was 19. I was wearing office wear, so smart casual, 
But when I left my house I realized it was tipping it down so I went back inside to grab my jacket, which was an adidas striped hoodie type jacket. I literally didn't think anything of it. I got to my interview, took the jacket off as soon as I entered the building and hung it up on the hook because it was soaking wet. Had my interview. Thought it went well and just as I was grabbing my jacket off the hook my interviewer told me maybe for next time I went for an interview to leave the jacket at home as it looked unprofessional. My time to shine. I used to do hiring for a small company in Lexington, Kentucky. Place wasn't super formal but I would make it a point to tell people that if they came in for the interview it should be treated as such. We also had a lot of people come in from employment agencies. Anyways call this applicant for an interview which she gladly accepts so I give her a time date with what we need as a company. Resume. List of references and last 28 years of addresses for a abuse background check. She shows up 15 minutes late in what can be considered theoretically to be a dress. This thing was epic. It was a see-through mesh dress with neon pink bra, underwear and 5 inch heels. On top of that she had waist length blonde braids. Being that there is a barely dressed woman waiting for me in the reception area I ask the owner of the company to sit in for interview. Didn't want anything to be misconstrued. Lady sits down and we do the interview. I explained to her what we did as a company and our mission statement. We provided services for individuals with IDDD. After I explain this to her she gets this look on her face and said I am not working as an butt wiper for no retards. At this point the interview is over and she is definitely not who we are going to hire. After she left I moved the chair she sat onto an empty office across the hall. I was doing the hiring for an entry level retail job. An interviewer called and said he was running late because his other job kept him late. Okay. No problem really. I get a call from the service desk that the guy showed but was running down to the restroom. My co-worker and I went to the common area and waited. About 5 minutes passed and we were just sitting there bullshitting for a few. Finally after literally 15 minutes I had my co-worker head down and see if maybe the guy was lost or didn't know where to go. Then my co-worker and this guy come walking to the interview table and apparently this guy decided to hurry up and shave first. His face was bleeding from 6-7 spots and he had toilet paper on them. We didn't end up hiring him but it was really because his interview was absolutely terrible. I kind of felt bad for him because he obviously was really trying hard to make a good impression. Too much cologne perfume. I have ended numerous interviews because of this. I have had hiring managers end interviews early because they could not stand the stench. One time, the hiring manager had an asthma attack because of this. Guess what? The candidate did not get the job. Pro tip. Cologne should be discovered, not announced. Also, if you wear cologne, google for more tips. The info is out there. People, use it. 40 year old lady passed her interview, but then showed up for her first day at the factory in a mini skirt with stilettos, and a deep v neck sheer tank. She was asked to leave. I wish my old job would have done that to people. So many people came in dressed completely inappropriately for the job. We were a shipping warehouse, and a lot of people wore awful shoes. At the very least, you need sneakers with some grip, but I was one of the only people wearing steel toed boots. Even after someone dropped a pallet and almost broke their foot, they never said anything. Did the hiring for an ambulance company. Had someone call and ask for the dress code prior to their interview. I always tell people to wear something they feel is comfortable but appropriate. He showed up in a t-shirt with cannabis leaves on it. I didn't finish the interview. While I don't disagree with the legalization of it, I feel it would be irresponsible for me to hire someone that promotes drug use. Mainly because paramedics handle narcotics. In case anyone was wondering, I would have done the same if it was an alcohol reference. Interviewee. Not a hire for this, but, just out of college, I could not get a job. Got to the point where I was applying everywhere. Showed up in my slacks, shirt and tie to an interview at a gas station market. I was told no guy that wears a tie to an interview is going to stay there long enough to be considered as hireable. So basically, I overdressed and my interview was just long enough to tell me that no way were they going to hire someone who wore a tie to the interview. Goodbye. Yeah, it has to be practical too. You don't wear a suit to a physical job. A nice dress shirt and jeans should be fine. Okay. For context, our office was in Midtown Manhattan, 
The subway station is literally inside our building, where you don't need to go outside to get in. Dude lives in Queens, so he is obviously taking the subway in. Also as everyone knows in NYC, at the first sign of a sprinkle, Ubiquitous $3 umbrella stands open on every street corner and subway station. He shows up dripping wet, like, not caught in a rain shower, like, fell in a pool and did a few laps wet. Now in what little defense I can offer this guy, it was raining, but like, a light shower, not a downpour or anything close to what it would have taken this guy to get as wet as he was. I really can't overstate how soaked this dude was. I could try and get as wet as him in the rain we were having, and wouldn't come close. So the receptionist calls me, and is kind of giggling, and is like, hey, UHH, line, you have a John Smith here for an interview. I started him on the papers, but UHH, yeah just come down. Because normal process was she would give him some papers that would take like 10 minutes to fill out, and then ring me when he was done. So I go down there, and well, wet dude, UHH, okay, he is otherwise appropriately dressed for office environment, suit, bag for his, assumingly wet, papers, etc. I tell him he can work on the papers afterwards, and bring him into my office, because I really don't want to wait to get to the bottom of this. Guy sits down, with an audible squish which catches me off guard, and I'm UHH. So, raining out hard, yeah, seems like you got caught in it, yeah, like, no umbrella, no, is it really raining that hard out there, not really, well, you are making my chair soggy, oh, sorry, should I stand, what, no, so like, did you take the train in, yeah, but then, how did you get so wet, well it's raining a bit outside, it quickly devolved into a panel interview which was just us trying to figure out how he got so wet. We brought people in who wouldn't normally be involved in the process just to see the wet dude. I think we might have asked a total of two questions about actual job qualifications, and that was only as an afterthought. To this day, 10 years later, I still lay away at night wondering what the heck happened to that guy. I tried to make the case to my boss to hire him just so we could maybe one day know. You only want to hire him to find out how he got so wet, and to see what other crap he does, no. Our best guess is he Michael Scotted into some fountain or something, but again, there wasn't one in our building, and we couldn't figure out where he would have done it along his way. Hypothesis, he spilled something on himself, or leaned on something wet so it looked like he had an accident, or something along those lines. Then he decided to hide it by just soaking himself from head to toe at the restroom sink. I've had candidates bomb out of interviews for various reasons, but only one that killed her candidacy by being poorly dressed. Co-worker, Pete, knows I'm hiring and tells me all about Jean. I need to hire Jean. Jean is the best. Jean CV puts her in the middle of the pack, so we ask her to come in for an interview. Jean is wearing a beach cover-up and a skirt, over a swimsuit. Jean has fin jerk her hair out, at best. She is wearing heels. At the time, our office only allowed jeans on Fridays, and required collared shirts on men every day. Apparently she felt that her friendship with Pete gave her a leg up, so she didn't bother. She was not hired. Ro, if a friend referred me, I would be on my best behavior so as not to embarrass them. Incidentally, this is also why I will almost never recommend anyone else unless I know that I know that I know they will not make me look bad. I heard about this one after being hired. I work at a large retail chain that's not Walmart. We used to have a coffee shop near our deli area, but the contract expired with that company and corporate was looking for the next big thing. All set up for an interview meeting with an up and coming coffee chain, and in walks a man with dreads, wearing a tank top, shorts, and flip flops for the interview. They didn't even continue the meeting. Just told him they were no longer interested, based on his appearance. That guy owned Dutch Brothers. The most important person in a room full of suits is the one wearing t-shirts and jeans. I was a candidate, interviewing over my lunch hour since it was a 2-3 minute drive away from my existing position. I am a software engineer. This industry doesn't pay you to look pretty. For the last 12 years I've held salaried positions where I wore jeans every day. I have successfully interviewed in everyday clothes. When I interviewed at Google I was told explicitly not to dress up. So to the interview, 
To clarify, not Google, I wore the jeans and sweater that I wore to work that day. During the interview it was mentioned they were looking to hire 70 software engineers over the next year to spin up a big project. When they called later they said I aced the technical part but was disqualified for my dress. Props for giving feedback. Good luck in your search for the 70 best dressed engineers. Amused not bitter. I think I dodged a bullet. Edit. Clarification. Good software engineers are a privilege to hire. Disqualifying a validated good candidate because of dress demonstrates stupidity in the management. Won't be the last time they make a dumb decision. I served on a committee to hire a new church secretary parish office manager. The applicant arrived wearing a heavily sequined blouse, bright pink miniskirt, and matching bright pink high heels, studded with rhinestones. The pastor took one gander at her and made the sign of the cross, sending a clear signal that she wouldn't make an appropriate choice for a church position. You misread the signal. He was saying Jesus says this one. A very experienced career sales guy applied for a full-time sales gig at our store. He came in about a week before his formal interview just to say hi AMD introduce himself to the manager. He had arrived wearing a Hawaiian shirt, board shorts and thongs, flip flops few filthy Americans. As he had come in unannounced and it wasn't formal yet this was fine. However the next week when he arrived for his formal interview he was dressed in the exact same outfit. I just couldn't believe it, we weren't sure if he was just that confident that he would be hired because of his experience, or whether he legitimately didn't give a frick. This guy's interview lasted all of about 5 minutes. He did not get hired and instead we hired a 23 year old with zero sales experience who actually worked out great. I'm British and I still did a double take. I'm a manager for a fashion retailer with a big focus on jeans. As a general rule, what people wear to an interview will not cost them the job by itself, but it certainly sways opinion as to me it suggests they can't read the vibe of where they are applying. I always recommend erring towards overdressed than under. Last week I had someone come to an interview in a grubby hoodie and workout leggings, hair greasy looking, no makeup etc. She, unprompted, I don't comment on how people are dressed, told me that she was told wearing jeans was a no-no. Not a solid first impression. Then in scenario questions she was snippy and rude, had a full on Karen moment, and used the word douche so. No, she wasn't hired. She was tanking the interview on purpose. Sounds like she either was told to report there by unemployment or possibly welfare, or mom and dad made her go but she didn't want to work. Interviewing a candidate for a position in a bank. She showed up wearing a belly shirt crop top. She stood up at the end of the interview and bam. Her belly button was right in front of my face. What a horrific scene. We were taking potential new hires for a tour of the office during an open evening. Lady set off the fire alarm with her bag accidentally. Stepped away absolutely not phased or embarrassed. Didn't apologize when I was running around trying to get it deactivated. Stayed all evening and helped herself to refreshments. She didn't get the job. Early 20s male came in wearing a red t-shirt with a black silhouette of a pole dancer. On the back in big white letters it said, helping single mothers one dollar at a time. A tongue ring. The guy was interviewing for a job as an English as a second language teacher. He sounded like he had a mouth full of marbles. Quick interview. Pink cow print furry vest. Jeans. Pink cow print cowboy hat. The panel was myself and my director. After that interview we worked out a secret code to cut the interview short whenever someone was clearly too crazy for the job. I don't know. This individual sounds like they might liven the place up. Not be useful. Probably. Bit entertaining. Surely. Story 2. Entry level help desk role. Guy comes in wearing a tux. Clearly he didn't have a suit and rented it. I mean, I get it there are people who don't need a suit and don't have a few hundred to drop on one when starting out. But, come on. Plus it was before 5. I used to hire for a retailer that had been sued for a lack of diversity. As a result, the interview included the series of questions. What is diversity and inclusion? Is this important in the workplace? Why or why not? I had someone basically define segregation then tell me that it was important because not everyone gets along. The best part was that this was a group interview with young adults. The sheer horror on one of the guy's faces I will never forget. 
He had the look on his face that I was feeling. When I asked him, his response he emphatically said, the exact opposite of what she said. Underrated comment. Not the hiring manager, but part of the group giving input on potential new hires. I worked for a large oil field services company. It was field work, and we were hiring entry level field hands. Expected interview clothing for this job was nice jeans, and a casual button down shirt if you felt fancy. T-shirts and hoodies were also acceptable, as long as you weren't wearing something completely juvenile. Anyway, fresh out of college kid with an unrelated degree shows up to interview for a grunt work job in a three-piece suit. His interview wasn't anything special, the usual bit of knowing absolutely nothing about the type of work but wanting to get a foot into the door, between his lack of even a basic online search of what the position entailed, and his three-piece suit, we ultimately moved his resume to the no-pile. My boss's reasoning was that if someone showed up to our office dressed like that, without a single clue of what the work was like, they would quit in a week anyway, which was typical for people who didn't realize just how physically demanding the job was. If he had shown up dressed a little less fancy, he may have gotten a shot, since this was a zero experience needed position. I would be surprised if he lasted a week I know people working positions like that or doing brutal factory work and they have had new hires come and work 4 hours and leave for a lunch break never coming back after that. The record where my stepdad worked was a bit under 2 hours before walking off the job site. Interviewee here. I once went on an interview back when I had what was called a Marilyn Bridge. This is a tooth thing. I am missing both of my bicuspids due to genetics. The problem is that this type of bridge is not very strong, and I was constantly knocking the fake teeth loose by just existing. I'm sure you can see where this is going. Faux tooth fell out just before interview. Tried to just hold it in there, but interviews are a lot of talking, and it was definitely noticed. Needless to say, did not get the position. I have since had full bridges put in, so now all 6 of my top front teeth are fake. It definitely worries me about the future, as it is like 10k to replace something like that, is considered cosmetic and is not even remotely covered, and without my top 6 front teeth, I'm guessing I will never be hired for anything again. Thanks genetics. A very formal, but badly fitting, 3 piece suit. I was a manager at a retail company that has a reputation for being very casual urban in appearance. We had no uniforms or dress code at all. Beyond common sense, the only thing that identified a person as a staff member was a company lanyard. Wearing business casual would have seemed out of place, let alone going full black tie. To be completely fair it didn't cost him the job 100% by itself, but it was the first big sign that he could not read the room. Badly fitting A. Eh? Sounds like dude went to a thrift shop and got whatever was the least horrible out of the available interview clothes. This is a little different, but funny. In middle school I wrote a screenplay and turned it into a movie. My father is a cinematographer. He turned it into a movie. I went along for the ride. One of the characters was supposed to be preppy and popular. And the girl auditioning for the role sent in a photo of herself in full goth attire as her headshot. She was a friend, though. So she got the part. Your dad sounds awesome. White tank top and denim jeans. After they left the interview, an associate pulled the guy aside and told him to not bother going to any more interviews anywhere unless he got a new outfit. That's nice on the part of the associate. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.